Okay, look at this. Mm, what could this be? Well, I'll tell you. I told you I had a very special unboxing for uh, Witchy Wednesday. And uh, this is it. The box is called Pagan Box. And this is why I'm doing it for Witchy Wednesday, because it's like uh, Birch Box or Glossy Box or Brimble's Box, but it's for pagans. How cool is that? I like the idea. Uh, it's run by uh, a shop in the UK called the Crystal Chakra, which is an actual physical um, shop. Uh, I believe they're in Evesham in Worcestershire, if I remember correctly. And she started doing this thing called Pagan Box. Monthly subscription. You pay via PayPal each month. So you're sent an invoice and you pay for your box if you want it. And if you don't, you don't pay for it. But you'll still receive your subscription next time if you don't cancel it. Um, you just let them know that you don't want that particular box. There, You can buy boxes after they're opened. So I think they go out on the 5th. And as long as they're available, you can purchase a previous month's subscription box. But it's all got uh, regular type things in it that you could buy. So it's not like limited edition anything. So I'm assuming since she runs the shop, she can pretty much put a box together for, for you from any previous month up to a point. You can um, purchase individual boxes for £10 each, or you can sign up to be invoiced £10 a month. Uh, plus postage. I think it worked out to twelve ninety five for me in the UK. And yeah, that's it. You you receive your box. Now every month they actually put up as soon as the boxes go out, they put up on the website what's in the boxes. Um, the January one isn't up yet, but it's not due out until the fifth. So I don't think they send it. They put it up on the website until it's actually gone out. Uh, but you can see the contents of the October box, the November box and the December box. It lists everything and yeah, it's. It, I thought I'd give it a go and see what it's like. Uh, I have here the three boxes. These are the two that I purchased additional, I think. Uh, I've actually opened the top one just to see if it was... A box in a box or if it was just loose like a brimble's box that is the uh, November box oh this one's got a box a little a thing on it that's the October box so this one must be the December box so let's start with October this was a Halloween one I've just got to be a little bit careful because one of them has something lavender in it I remember seeing it on the website, but I like that they've actually no noted that. Um, the one I've opened, incidentally, just to see if it was open, it's got the most wonderful smelling incense. It's got my favourite ever incense in it, and I'm just, oh, I can smell it wafting through the house. It's wonderful. This is the October box. I'm going to open it that way. So this is the very first box they ever did and they've got a little slip in there where to find them face uh, pagan box on facebook pagan box on twitter pagan box hashtag and then it's got information for the shop as well i think i've actually been in that shop i'm sure it's in evesham and i'm pretty sure i've been in there uh so this is yeah this is october so you've got a pagan box letter uh, welcome to the first ever box. Thank you for subscribing. Theme is Halloween. A little bit about Samhain and such. A uh, little bit about how Samhain became known as Halloween. Uh, what it is, the pagan end of the year. Time to reflect on things and see things that you want and see, want to see the end of, etc, etc. And then it's got a list of events. So that's handy for your book of shadows, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, I mean, I know most, I know all this stuff. Um, I wouldn't have known specifically that the blood moon was at 6:51 a.m. on the eighth, but I did know the full moon was the blood moon that day. Uh, so, and it's also got southern hemisphere. Let me double check. Uh, 
do you ship outside of the UK? Yes, we do. You can choose this option at sign up. So you could, this is international. Obviously, I think it costs more in postage. Um, it was only 2 95 postage in the UK, which is pretty impressive because this box is bigger than the Brimble's box, actually, which was £3.50 postage. Um, so that I'm quite impressed with their postage rate. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. Oh, there's some more on the back. There's the product list. So let me just check the product list. So we've got cleansing, healing, spell pouch. Full instructions are inside the organza bag. Uh, cleansing quite often is something to do with sage and lavender and things. So I'm just going to check. Yeah, crystal healing pouch contains lavender, Himalayan salt, amethyst, tumblestone and a tea light candle. So hopefully it's bagged up. Yes, it is. So that little pouch of lavender... I can just take that out of there. I can, you can, that, I'm allergic to lavender, which is why I won't use it. Uh, but you could use another healing, uh, like some people don't just like the smell of lavender. I don't actually. Uh, you could use sage or mint or something like that. Or you could just use a cleansing incense, uh, like um, amber, something like that, just for a purification type thing. So I can take that little baggie of, lavender out of there it's all sealed up so it won't cause me any problems and I can just send it to somebody else I'll probably send it to Anna she likes that sort of thing um, but you can certainly use the rest of the the stuff or the the amethyst and the Himalayan salt especially is good for putting your crystals in um, like my big crystal that I wear a lot um, pop that in a, a little glass dish with some salt and stick it on the window in a full moon and you can purify and recharge it so that's quite useful I like that whoops let me put my knife away then we've got two black dinner candles great for Samhain and Halloween decorations of course which is awesome that'll go in my beautiful candelabra that I've got downstairs don't smell of anything oh they do a little bit they smell a little bit of oh what do they smell of maybe they just smell of the incense yeah or maybe they just smell of the incense because they've been in the box but yeah a couple of candles always useful especially in black it's quite hard to buy black candles anytime outside of Halloween uh, Stamford, uh, Stamford Black Witch's Curse Incense Sticks pack of 12 sticks from the Stamford range and it says on here oh they're, they're from India which uh, I like incense um if I'm going to make incense that you burn like on a charcoal stick out of out of literally like, you know, when you take your lavender or whatever. Well, I don't, but you take your herbs and you mix it up and you, you put it on a, a charcoal burner. I would rather use actual dried herbs and spices. But when it comes to just incense sticks, I love the ones made in India. They always smell so amazing. Um... This is called Witch's Curse. Release yourself from a witch's curse with this purifying aroma, clearing the air of all negativity and bringing you back to serenity. Well, I'm not going to get into witch's curses. That seems a bit silly. But it smells nice. And uh, I'm sure you could use it for... The, the theme of this seems to be clear, clarifying. So you could probably use it with your cleansing healing pack. Let me, let me see if I can get it out and... See what it smells like. It kind of has a frankincense kind of smell. I can get it out of the box. Can't get sellotape open. it's well packaged <laughs> have I missed a way to open it sometimes they have a, a perforation and you just tear off the end no, you open the end and of course I opened the wrong end oh no, I didn't oh, it smells of what does it smell of it's got a floral scent in there like jasmine maybe and some kind of aniseed licorice type 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. That's, that'd be a nice um, ben bedroom incense, actually, because the other one that I've got here in the other box is really nice, but it's very overpowering to use in a bedroom. But this is very pleasant smelling. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Then we've got... Uh, oh, an ash catcher incense holder. Always handy. Have some more incense catchers. You can never have too many of these as far as I'm concerned. A gemstone new jade bracelet. It's interesting. This is almost certainly not big enough for my big chubby wrists, but in fact it's not, it's not even big enough for a child, I don't think. I suppose you could wear it if you had really skinny wrists. I'll have to lengthen the elastic on that, but I quite often just use these hanging on my altar rather than wearing them, so it's quite nice. It's pretty. It's got um, pretty colours in it. I like that a lot. Pop it back in there. And then a four pack of spider tea light candles. Spider's web tea light candles. Let's see, are they scented? No, just um, regular candles, but they've got little spiders and webs on them. So again, good for using on your altar. I go through a lot of tea lights, so I'll keep those for next summer. Okay, so that's it. And then worms. Oh, it's, it's straw. <laughs> okay. We've got posh worms over here, bunny. Straw worms. Right, I'm just going to pop all this back in the box because... I don't want to get mixed up with what came in which box. Now this box was £10 plus postage. So um, these are usually about a pound. These are about two fifty. pounds Pack of tea lights, decorated ones, probably about two ninety nine. So yeah, it's probably around, yeah, it's probably around the £10 mark. I don't think it'd be much over £10. But um, it's nice to get a little pack of stuff. This is the November one, and this is the one that smells amazing because it has Nag Champa incense on it. Oh, I love this stuff. Uh, every student in the UK knows what this stuff smells like. Oh, it's just, oh. It's, um, imagine what a Hindu temple or a, a Buddhist temple smells like when they've got the incense going. That's what it smells like. In fact, it smells a lot like the um, the incense. I, I, when I was very little, we used to go to Midnight Mass in a Catholic church and they always had the incense burner going. And that's what it smells like. Same, same smell, brings back a lot of memories. I love this smell. This stuff is two pounds a box, so straight away there you've got two pounds in your box that smells yummy. This is November's box, the month's theme of the Wheel of the Year. So starting the Wheel of the Year, going round between Samhain and Yule. Another nice little page for your Book of Shadows if you are so inclined to use it. And in the book, oh it also says all the products can be purchased separately on the, the website for the shop so that's handy to know events listed for during November products in the box bring money spell pouch full instructions are inside the organza bag and that is November spell pouch contains basil Himalayan salt tiger's eye tumblestone and a silver coin uh, plus, you get the instructions for the spell, obviously. Um, if you know what you're doing with spells, you can change it. And, um, you know, uh, substitute things for for other stuff if you want to, if you want to specify it. And if not, then I would think... I'll actually open this one because I didn't open the other one because it's got lavender in it. I don't really want to open that one until I've got gloves on. 
So let's have a look at the spell. A bring money spell. Here's what you need, everything that's in the pouch. Uh, fresh water and teaspoon of salt. Wash the crystal. Put on the candle. Remove the crystal. Meditate. Yeah, it's a meditation spell. So even for beginners, that's pretty easily. It's a basic visualise what you want and bury the coin in the garden kind of spell. So it's quite good for, you know, focusing your mind. With these kind of things, it, the caveat is be careful what you wish for and write down what you want very carefully before you start. <laughs> OK. You know, you, you can be... It's an old cliche, but, you know, if you just write, I wish for a lot of money, uh, you can get a nasty surprise. Like, you know, somebody, somebody that you love might die and leave you a lot of money. You know, you've got to be very specific and you've got to not... Well, obviously, you know, depending on whether you're Wiccan or not, you may want to not use personal gain. This is a spell for... It's a bring money spell pouch. I wouldn't use it as a bring money spell pouch. I would use it as a prosperity spell because for me, just wishing for lots of money is a bit pointless. I don't want to wish for lots of money. I can get lots of money in various different ways. And I fully believe that if you put the wrong powers out there, you could end up getting in with the wrong people and robbing a bank to get lots of money or something like that. And then end up in jail, you know, very, very much. Uh, careful about the be careful what you wish for thing but I could see it being used for prosperity you know to um, perhaps if I specifically wanted to focus it on my business and uh, my business flourishing and prospering and you know that doesn't necessarily mean making lots of money that could just be you know getting some kind of advertising going that is beneficial to you or um, being able to uh, bring in more students or more subscribers or something like that it doesn't always necessarily have to be to do with money so i would use that as a prosperity spell but yeah pretty pretty basic and easy for beginners oh i need my list uh two dark green dinner candles great for using during money spells but also good for various sabbats again altar candles and things like that uh Nug Chamba incense sticks, that's these. Love them. Love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Uh, there's supposed to be an oil. Ah, here we go. Sandalwood fragrance oil. Mmm, I love sandalwood. Uh, I will look on the website to see if this is... Pure oil. Oh, it smells amazing. Reminds me of my dad's aftershave when I was growing up. He always wore sandalwood aftershave. Um, all the, on the website, that's what I'm looking at over there. All the website listings in the boxes, there's a link to where you can buy it on the website. So if you, if you don't want the rest of the box, but you think, oh, I like that sandalwood oil, you can buy the sandalwood oil. Uh... Suitable for oil burners, lamp rings, potpourri and dried flowers to give any room of revitalising scent. Use two to three drops of this fragrance oil is enough to fill the room. Yeah, it's not a it's not a put it on your hand, massage it in type. Usually those are in brown bottles. That's the big giveaway. If it's for, um, not consumption, but um, what's it called? I don't know. If you can put it on your skin, if you can wear it, usually it's in a brown bottle. Uh, because it's medical grade. This is not medical grade, it's just a room fragrance. But it's still a very nice room fragrance. Oh, yes, 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 I love sandalwood. One of my favourites. Sugar and Spice Bolsius scented tea candle lights. Let me just sniff my jumper to clear my nose. There you go. If you're smelling lots of scents one after another, especially if it's like really heavy scents like oils or incense, sniff your jumper 
like breathe heavily through your jumper through your nose just to clear your sinuses of the the smell so that you can smell something else properly so bolsius Ooh, oh it's, it's berries cranberries wild cranberries sugar and spice scented tea lights oh it's christmas in a box oh i wish i'd had these at christmas these are perfect for christmas oh they're so nice very very nice those uh, and then an urban tribe bracelet and mine says peace Uh, apparently there was three or four different ones you could get. Uh, Urban Tribe bracelets. Uh, there was a peace symbol with a heart. There was a the word peace. There was a, a kind of colour wheel type piece. They're all, all basically you know green peace type symbol things. And it's a, a sliding toggle so that's good because that means I can actually wear it. It'll actually fit me. So let's see what it's like. Quite nice actually. I like that. A little bit chunky and masculine perhaps for some girls. Um, but I quite like chunky masculine. I don't, I don't like airy fairy stuff. I like the, um, the crystal bracelet in the other box but on balance I'd rather wear this one so there you go right so that's the November box that's the two that had already come out when I subscribed uh, put my oil back in there just in case it leaks yeah so when I subscribed these two had already come out and then uh, the first week of December I was supposed to get my next box now I had a little bit of an experience getting my boxes. They were sent out on November the 17th, so I had the slip sent out to me and the order box and everything telling me that my box had been sent. Uh, unfortunately it never arrived, so middle of uh, towards the end of December, just before Christmas, I said well it's still not here and they replied straight away and they said we'll send you another one out today. Sorry about that, Royal Mail are a bit crap. Uh, <laughs> because that's how it came out, Royal Mail. And I said, yeah, that's fair enough, no problem. Never heard anything after that. Didn't get another box, didn't get anything. So um, just bef just after Christmas, sorry, this was, no, it was beginning of December. I was expecting my subscription box and I hadn't had my other two. Um, and then just before Christmas, I emailed them again and said, look, I know it's coming up, up to Christmas. You're going to be busy, etc., etc. But in the new year, can you sort this out, please? Because I still haven't had any of my boxes. I still haven't, I haven't had my December subscription that I should have had as well. Can you please sort this out and get them to me? Well, they didn't answer me. However, the 30th of December, as on the post label on the first box, they sent these out and they arrived on the 2nd of January. So they didn't get, they got back to me really quickly the first time, but I never, I don't know if they sent that. I, I can only assume they sent the boxes out a second time because they said they were going to. Whether they did or not, I don't know because the first and second boxes never arrived. If, maybe it is, it is possible that they didn't send them out the second time. They just got swamped with Christmas orders, which is, yeah, it's fair enough. I, I wasn't in any rush for it. Um, however, the third time, no, the second time I contacted them, Maddie, get down, please. They did send out this set, which I'm assuming is the third box. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and assume they sent out the second lot. The third boxes did arrive. This is my subscription plus the two I purchased. And they arrived very quickly, but I didn't receive any communication whatsoever from customer services. They didn't come back to me and say, yeah, we're sorting this out. We'll send them again, anything. I just, you know, the second came and boom, here's lots of boxes from the the pagan box so yeah first time very good customer service but still no box second time absolutely no customer service whatsoever but I got my boxes they sorted it out so yeah overall I'd give them 75 out of 100 uh, I'm waiting to see if my January box turns up uh, obviously it's not their fault if it's getting lost in the post um, but uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. So this is December, uh, and there is my order form. Ooh, this smells nice. I don't know what's in here, but it smells lovely. What's the word? Clean. It's like um, citrus punch. That's what it smells like, citrus punch. Which I suppose is Christmassy, but it's, you, you know, traditionally Christmas, you tend to think of um, very, very minty or sweet scents like Christmas cooking and gingerbread and cinnamon and that kind of stuff this smells very clean and light I like that so here's the Christmas or December I should say one for Yule tells you all about the Yule solstice what it's celebrating symbols of Yule bright blessings have a fantastic year and however where you celebrate very nice again another nice little tidbit for your um, Book of Shadows with a, a list of Dece December events. So what do we have in this one? We have an advent calendar. Cal an advent calendar? An advent candle. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't have one of those in the November one, but I did in the other two. Um, I'm assuming that's the advent calendar. I keep saying that, don't I? Ca candle, not calendar. Candle. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. Look, it's got... One to twenty-four. So you burn it for that amount each day. I don't know how long that would be. Whether that is, it's quite a nice-looking candle. It's and it's handmade, so it'll be beeswax. There's no scent to it. Um, I would think that would be either an hour or it's possible that's a full day, but I wouldn't have thought so. Um, because it's tapered, if it was an hour segment, the ones at the top would be more gap between the one and the two because it's smaller here than it is here. Geometry and stuff. So I'm assuming that it would be, you know, you burn it for that much for the first day and the second day and then the 24th and then Christmas Day is a little holly look. Isn't that pretty? I like that. I will put that with my Christmas stuff for next year. That's lovely. Cinnamon and orange Yule decoration. There we go. That's what the lovely citrusy smell is. A cinnamon and orange Yule decoration. And it is literally a piece of dried orange peel. Properly dried, I would assume, since they're a, a pagan shop. I don't think it's going to go mouldy or anything. No, it's properly crystallised, this. Mmm. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, that's that smells lovely. <laughs> if I had a car, I'd put this in the car. Oh, yeah, that smells really nice. Uh, as it is, I'm going to pop it back in the bag. Keep all the lovely smell in. And that can go in my Christmas box as well when I take my tree down tomorrow. And... I'll keep that for next year, pop it on the Christmas tree, make it smell nice. What else do we have? Elements, frankincense and myrrh incense stick. That's um, very appropriate for Christmas. Frankincense and myrrh being the biblical incense. Mmm. Very similar to the Nag Champa, but a lot lighter. The Nag Champa is very heavy, smoky, kind of makes you cough kind of scent. This is a much lighter scent much more for an everyday thing rather than it's like the nab champ I would usually use for meditation or ritual or something but this is much more an, a kind of oh I fancy burning a bit of incense let's pick this one yeah that's lovely very nice doing well pagan box I'm quite impressed so far next on the list Anne Stokes Yule Angel Frig Ma Fridge Magnet that would be this one oh that's nice it's metal but we often see the metal. They're usually a cheap bit of plastic with a magnet stuck on the back. But this is actually metal. That's pretty. And she's a very wintry kind of angel. There you go. Well, let me turn her sideways so you can see her a bit better. There you go. 
So she's got a crown of mistletoe and holly, wearing a pentacle, holding a crystal ball, and she's got holly and mistletoe running down her sleeves. And what's that thing on her belt? I don't recognise that. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a symbol or not. It looks like a little lizardy type thing with a head and a tail. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But um, yeah, she's quite pretty. Rather like her. Pop her on the fridge. Again, these are the kind of um, kind of pointless little tchotchke things but 300 days of the year I probably have that on the fridge just because it's a fridge magnet but there might be that point where you need a, you know for your altar or for a spell or a meditation you need a female figure that sh that resembles you know I mean she's basically resembling uh, the Christmas star isn't she you know she's got the Christmas star above her head she's an angel you know she's got the light of Christmas um you could interpret her as just about anything. Joy, new beginnings, the light of Christmas, whatever you want. So, you know, anything that you need a female presence for that, you could use this for. Or you could just get a metal frame and stick her to that and put her on your altar. That'd be just as nice, wouldn't it? But I do have a lot of fridge magnets, so I will pop her on there. Then we've got a dream catcher key ring. Oh, I love dream catchers. Oh, I'm very into my dream catchers. Oh, and this is pretty. Oh, I like it. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's really nice. I wouldn't put it on my keys because my keys are a big jumble of all sorts of things, but I would probably hang it up somewhere or even put it on a piece of um, thread and you know hang it from somewhere that's really pretty i like that it's got a it's got a pentacle in the middle as well with a piece with a turquoise bead oh yeah that's lovely very impressed with that i like that and then last but not least we have a feng shui sun catcher well that's good because i can put that in my sunroom so There you go. So it catches the sun, hangs in your window, is all pretty and stuff. It's got a little crystal on the bottom. Yeah, it's proper crystal, so it will throw rainbows about. Very nice. And mine is the symbol for luck, apparently. Uh, that'll be Chinese, so I don't know if that's correct. Anybody read Chinese? Is that the symbol for luck? So yeah, I can just hang that up. Be good for the bit of New Year luck in the sunroom. And that's the end of that one. So there we go. Those are my three pagan boxes that I've received so far, October, November and December. And hopefully that's given you a really good insight into what comes in them. I like the fact that they include stuff for beginners uh, because not all of us know what all this stuff is or what it's for or what all the you know what's relevant and what's not i like that they include lots of different um festivals and things uh it's even got the celtic months the beginning and ends of the celtic months and things like that so yep no abrahamic traditions on here krampusnacht full moon Longest night, moon night, 7.27am, beginning of Saturnalia, winter solstice or Yule, Litho in the Southern Hemisphere, Celtic tree month of Elder begins, Celtic tree month of Birch begins, oh sorry, Celtic tree month of Elder ends, it's more like it, Celtic tree month of Birch begins, Feast of Frau Hall, Feast, uh, Festival of Hogmanay, yeah, so there's no Ab Abrahamic traditions on there, but there's other stuff, so... I like it. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. I like the theming. I like the way it's been put together, the way everything matches. It's not just, hey, here's another box. Jum, here's lots of stuff. 
you know and it's not overly christmas themed or you it's not even overly yule themed but it's got you know like an advent calendar and the frankincense and myrrh a little nod to the biblical story an angel with the christmas star and you know things like that i like that but then it's also got a little nod to the beginning of the year with the feng shui charm and a nod to the end of the year with the dream catcher I like the way it's been put together it's a nice little box it's nicely presented and I don't think for £10 it's it's that bad actually I think it's quite good for £10 uh, because I know how expensive some of this stuff can be particularly if you're uh, in an area like I am where there are hardly any new age shops <laughs> you can go into some new age shops and spend an absolute fortune just on a tumble stone around here because there just aren't any shops around here that sell that kind of stuff so for £10 it's quite nice to get a nice box of bits every month so I hope you enjoyed that uh, I will put details here of how you can get your own pagan box if you want to sign up and of course you can purchase any previous box on the website I will send put all the links down below in the description box and sometime in the next couple of weeks I will have my January box to show you as well and then you can see what I got in that one so thanks for joining me for Witchy Wednesday this week and I'll be back next week with something else for you bye <laughs>